let me make a quick comment you know i don't have a spend betting but i had um a man of god talk about it uh, I, I mean it was with john i did and john talked about seeing people gambling you know and uh you know and and, and he said he, he gave them um, uh, he said he saw this businessman a christian businessman that he noticed that all those that win betting money lose it he said he noticed that all of them got poorer that they don't return to the level you know in america people win millions like they'll say pinball number bang and someone won 100 million because people put money in it all around the country you know, it's a very big country hundreds of millions of people so <coughs> it's very tempting and you can buy it very cheaply but they said they noticed they've done studies there are people that bet if they get millions end up poorer than they, they were already poor many of them then they are poorer than how they were after having millions that it doesn't seem to make sense but because it's spiritual there are people that say even someone admire that well you won't talk too much about lottery I, and i think truly if someone has a discipline this i'm about to say something i never said before i'm only saying it because they are said it you see it doesn't harass people about it that people keep trying to make him make a clear statement and, but this is what i think you're trying to say if you have the discipline and you can walk past not walk past you're in your house and they say send this number to this pin you know and you send it and they take 15 out of money and you may don't do that again for two three years you understand you're not bound it's just unfortunately if you really want you're finished and that's what the devil does that's how he catches people so if you hear people that have escaped, that people that have escaped drinking, they tell you don't even go near the bottle. That's exactly what you're hearing. And it's the best way to live. It's a horrible thing. But he said, this Christian businessman, for the first time I saw a born again Christian, a successful businessman, good money, he already has. So he should be able to manage. Have he? he said the man won the lottery. And he was like, wow, this one is going to be different. Wow. Okay. And yours truly, this man went down. Part of what I believe is that because this money is collected, a lot of it is from poor people all around. Huh? It's not good money. It's people's, it's poor people's money. It's, it's sweat, it's stolen money. It's, it's, it's someone's wife's new clothes or feeding money. It's children. It's like, to me, I think the voice of children are crying on the money. <laughs> because that's someone's food. Thank God you're not married. I mean, growing up, I hear my mother talk about Mr. O. Let me talk about no, but from a part of in her village. That the wife used to wear one cloth that the man would gamble away the man gambled away their life like no matter what money enters he gambles so you're very lucky that that happened while you're not married because you would take school fees feeding money there's nothing now we have had such testimony before we have them here let me see your hands come on gambling past solid adion don't pretend to work on computer now what's wrong with you <laughs> carry your hand male and female one two oh yeah carry it so, no, so we have a strength. There are not many here. There are, there are more. There are more than you know. We have a strength. All those females that didn't raise their hand at all. How? I mean, the ones that do it on phone. I've been handling. I've handled cases where people came and cha da. The media. I can't tell you the story because it's you know. But I've had situations where people come and fall on my veranda. <laughs> where someone goes from having how much and is going from owing nobody to owing ninety thousand. Like now, hey, you have to see it to believe. See me driving around, going to beg people's fathers. People's fathers chasing people with cutlass. I mean, I'm looking at messages. Someone stands, lifts their phone like this. I don't need it, Judy. Please, can you loan me 10,000? And he collects from that one, puts it, it goes. Call an iPhone, give me 10,000. But it goes, puts it, go, pa, pa, pa. Removes his phone. That, mm -mm, his phone had already gone. 60,000 brand new. Finishes it. It's like, it's like, it's like, you can't, it's like, I'm saying I was involved though. I'm the one that walked into, I walked into Niger Bed Office. That's how I got there. And gave cash. And collected back the phone. Because he gave it for 20,000 naira. The 60 something thousand naira phone. He gave it for 20,000. So they took 20,000 and they over took back the phone. And went online and looked for a buyer. Yes, you know, I can be very helpful. I went online and looked for a buyer and sold it. Okay, okay, we reached the last level, but I think whether the brother now said they'll take it which is their issue yeah. but fool found someone to buy it how else are you going to get back yes you, i mean how much you're struggling to sell it for thirty thousand yeah, to twelve debts because when a young man can go from owing nobody in this world to owing ninety thousand in one day with no effort standing in one place they give you money take this money go and put it in the bank you step out like this bah, bah, that thing goes <laughs> it's ah see hey some of you and listening some of you listening you do it stop now you see you see, there's a reason I allowed him to speak that long and all that. 
and he said because he brought the pressure to this kind of long testimony is about your life you take it during the day and all that not this day but as he said he believes god is saying you should share it that means there's someone here don't think for a second i doubt it like it's not to call your name you mean leave you're here stop ask god for you heard him say he knelt down on the road as for mercy and god broke the power of that thing of course you also heard him say that when he disconnected from proper fellowship he went back because there's something the presence and the power of god does and there are many people and there are different people that have been bound by these things we've seen it i've seen people it seems as if it has stopped six months one year later it grabs them again the first time they they lost them um in 20 30 thousand and then the next time they lost i, I say i can't even tell them the post because some of the people they take money from you can't believe like how can you have the audacity why do you think addictions when you hear how many people you call prostitutes are just addicts they got addicted to something they need cash for it they'll do anything they didn't start out as prostitutes they got hooked to heroin cocaine some hard drug or the other to sustain the habits they got involved in gambling women have been known to gamble away you know america some people start saving money from when the guys child, when the baby is not born there for college women have been known to gamble away women not just men gamble away the child's college fund gamble all there's money that has been saved for for 18 years gamble away all away how little by little little by. because once he hooks you he keeps telling you if you don't put this you hit it big once you hit it big you return you never do it again once if you happen to hit it like you heard him give you a very practical story you say ah i'm i'm, I'm running a lucky street if i put it again i'll get double it is satan there's no way you don't know it's satan it's so evil come out of it god wants to free you all right it's a wonderful thing and we are going to be free remember the devil jezebel deceives she allures you seduces you that's her job she does it and she does it well it's the same system jezebel is not the jezebel system the mystery babylon system babylon is not just religious it is political it is economic it's what controls this world's economics god wants you to trust in him for your provision we saw abraham isaac and jacob god provided their needs he can provide your needs never gamble doing it from their phones I, I i went to renew a, a subscription a tv subscription once and the office was opposite i, I entered the wrong place at, um, um, around barrack Road, and i saw young children with their water thing and all that and i was asking what is this and that's the first time i entered a betting place and i was shocked and i found out and i got to hear later that young children every sort people that sell water on the street that's how some of them come to me and beg for money and say they lost their money they gambled it out everything they gave them to sell they took it and gambled it and lost it they're trying to double it and they're saying my auntie will kill me and she will they come and, and sometimes they think the people think they stole it someone was telling me <coughs> that is a guy the wife thinks he gives has girlfriends he doesn't have any girlfriend his girlfriend is bed niger that's where his money goes but the wife thinks that he has a girlfriend he's maintaining he's not his girlfriend is better than these things are demonic things we haven't prayed about it enough we had said long ago that we would pray against it, it used to be where i passed on the road i say lord in jesus name shut down this place shut down this place Th- that thing has destroyed lives let me tell you a final horror story just to carry you through the night my wife one of the children in my wife's school in her class level my wife's school, cute little girl she won twenty thousand naira. the husband said bring the money he said no way this is real i i, I mean this is not long term because my wife comes and said this girl didn't come back to me. and what happened to the girl why did she come to school the husband took petrol after beating her they said you're beating this one that is you lose her pregnancy went out came back with petrol and that did, did like this they had two children two children <laughs> i don't know the suspicion whether he wanted to die too or his wife dragged him back in all of them wiped out the household because she's i'm keeping this twenty thousand for my to help get things you see are you seeing how dangerous that money is they would be alive now if she didn't win that lottery but she won it it killed everyone man two children man wife two children they died on fire they didn't cut their throats first yeah all right so understand that it's it's demonic it's the devil it's one of the ways he he grabs people the be, people behind these things uh, again i wouldn't want to be them because the number of voices speaking against them why was uh, this thing so successful mmm why do you work so thoroughly sorry remember what i said whatever you see prevailing in your society is linked to the church do you remember where do they gamble like the church where are you told more times than ever that if you put money money will come out so why are you laughing i don't want you to laugh again because the churches in nigeria are the biggest gambling centers 
There's nothing like it. Very reasonable people go out and put money with the expectation of getting money. And the bad thing is the other people sometimes they pay back. This one, very few times. In fact, it's never God that is paying you back that money. Because God doesn't do gambling. You don't give to get. You give to give. You give because God says you should do good. Let him that stole steal no more. That he might walk with his hands. What is good? The teacher's on it. And have to give to the poor, to those that need. God's method is give. Do good to all men. Continue the induces and you reap. Do good to all men, especially those of the household of faith. But a system. I remember when God really spoke to me about this strongly. You people, your gambling centers, most churches are gambling centers. Do this for the man of God. Do this. And it will come back to you 100 times. That's a gambling center. So when you hit Nigeria, everybody went, wow. Because we have been prepared. We have been prepared by, in quotes, men of God. And we were exceedingly open. I hope you know churches were doing presentations on MMM. Standing like this, you know a projector standing and shamed. What for shame is, is even different. You know, it's similar, but stood like this and you're introducing MMM to the whole church and all that. And the whole church jumps in. Christians were supported everywhere. Okay? But thank God for God is here with us. Amen. All the people that did it here lost all the money. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you hear well? I said, all the people that did it here, they lost all the money. <laughs> I remember I was preaching on Wednesday. We said, Bible studies. And I went, make sure you don't go there. And later I heard that some people went near. They lost it. That's the week. The next week they stopped MMM. It had been going on all that time. They put their money. God made sure that you, you will not be foolish. I told them it will fail. I said, you see this thing? It's going to fail. It was about a week. Do I remember correctly? That's the price of greed. Do you remember what we read about greed? The Bible promises you to fly away.